expert explained why Russians began to lose more Ka-52 helicopters in Ukraine. During the last 10 days, Russians lost two Ka-52 helicopters in Ukraine. Ukrainian military political expert Alexander Kovalenko said that due to the shortage of artillery systems in the combat zone, the Russian command is beginning to actively use helicopters. He noted that over the past two months, this deficit has taken on critical proportions. In May, Russians lost a record number of artillery, 553 artillery systems as of June the 20th, 414 artillery systems have already been destroyed. The Russian command does not have time to compensate for the loss of artillery even by reactivating old Soviet howitzers. We see how the Russians began to drive more attack helicopters to the south and use them as artillery. This in turn forces Russian helicopters to operate as close as possible to the zone of potential risks and be shot down by air defense systems or get into the zone of a mobile group with man pads, he said. The expert believes that it is more difficult to fight helicopters than artillery, but on the other hand, they are not so numerous and their price category is completely different. As of June the 20th, eight Russian attack helicopters have already been destroyed. It would seem that 414 howitzers and eight helicopters are on incommensurable ratio, one helicopter to 50 howitzers. But which is easier to reactivate 50 howitzers or produce one helicopter during the year? What is more expensive than 50 decommissioned howitzers or Ka-52? The cost of the Ka-52 attack helicopter, depending on the modification, varies from $16 million to $20 million. In turn, the cost of a conditionally modern self-propelled gun 2S19 MSTAS is $1.6 million. Self-propelled guns 2S3, a Casia at an average of $120,000, Kovalenko noted. He claims that at present, the occupiers mainly use much cheaper towed D20s, D30s and others, rapiers and cornflowers.